Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Ecology, Organism and its Environment, wherein we will talk about biomes, habitat and abiotic factors. And we will also discuss about population. So when we talk about organism and its environment, so organism in itself is a vast term which includes huge number of living organisms starting from the tiny bacteria which are like made up of just one single cell to huge animals like elephants, lions, tigers, human beings. There are so many uh, other aquatic organisms like fishes, whales, sharks. Besides that, we also have a wide variety of plants. So organisms include all of them. And of course, you must agree that the variety is huge. So here we are going to talk about how these organisms are dependent on each other, how they interact with each other and not only with each other, but also with certain other components of the environment, which might not be living. They are non-living component, but they are very much required for the survival of these organisms. So that is our agenda in this lesson, where we are going to talk about the interaction of organisms with each other and also with their environment. So let's look at this simple slide which will tell us that organisms interact with each other as well as their physical environment so we will take a very simple example think of this lion where do we see lion we normally find them in a forest so what do, can a lion live in isolation so do you think that the lion would need some other things also to be present around in order to survive the first thing that it needs for its survival would be food. And what is lion's food? It feeds on other organisms like deer. So the lion is dependent on the deer to eat. If there, there, if there, is not, there are no deer in the forest, if there are no other animals in the forest which the lion feeds upon, then the lion would also starve and die, right? So that means the lion is dependent on animals like deer. Think of this deer. Deer also needs food. So what are those things on which the deer feeds upon? It feeds on plants. So we can say that the lion is dependent on the deer and the deer is dependent on the plants. What about the plant? So what is the plant dependent upon? Now if you talk about the food habits, plants can prepare their own food. We all know that by the process of photosynthesis with the help of chlorophyll in presence of sunlight, it can prepare its own food. So th does that mean that plants do not need anything from the environment? No, plants also need a lot of things. Plants need sunlight, plants need water. From where does it get water? It gets water from the soil. So the plant in turn is dependent on the soil because soil is the reservoir of all the minerals, nutrients and water. And that, that's what the plant receives from the soil through its root hairs. So the plant is also dependent on the soil. So it is not only soil, soil is just one thing of the environment on which the plant is dependent on. It is also dependent on light, air, etc. And now if you look at all of these organisms in common, whether you talk about the lion or you talk about the deer or you talk about the plant, all of them need things like water. All of them need water to drink. So do you think that if we provide the lion with enough deer, but we say that you are not supposed to drink a drop of water, will it be able to survive? Again, a no, because every living organism needs hydration inside their body. Each of them need to maintain the right amount of water inside their body. So all of them need water to drink. So without water, they cannot survive. Again, all of them needs air to breathe. So the animals, they take in oxygen. From where they take the oxygen? From the air. Similarly, the plants take in carbon dioxide, which in turn helps them during photosynthesis. So for that, the atmosphere, the air needs to be present around them. So 
looking at this picture this scenario what do you understand you understand that a lion is dependent on other animals like deer it is also indirectly dependent on plants because these animals in turn are dependent on plants it is also dependent on certain non living components of the environment like water air etc so if it's so not only this lion think of any organism which exists on this earth that organism will be dependent on other living and non living components of the environment so in this lesson we are going to talk about all those type of interactions between different organisms between different populations of organism so that is our main motto in this lesson thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.